guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be going over some of the most annoying and frustrating things that can happen to you as a photographer or even a cinematographer. So, what I'm going to be going over can happen both technically, which is basically forgetting gear and having bad gear and stuff like that, but can the other things I'm going to be going over can also be within the image you're trying to create. It could be either bad lighting, the horizon you're taking on, or even the orientation you took the photo in, and you can't really reverse the orientation. So I'm going to be going over the technical issues first. So the first issue that makes you really frustrated and makes you want to go all crap is probably the most common, which is forgetting your battery. Now, the most common way this happens is you're just strolling along on a walk, you've got your camera and your camera bag, but you've got your battery at home, but you don't know that yet. So basically what's going to happen is that you're going to be just ready to take your picture, taking your lens cap off, and you press your power button and nothing happens. And you press again and nothing happens again. And then you check the battery compartment and oh no, there's nothing in there. Something you can do to solve this issue is one, you can have spare batteries, which basically what you can do is that you charge, have one of the batteries in your charger and then have the other one in your camera while you're not using it so that it kind of guarantees that you won't forget your batteries. Now also another thing you can do is just trying to commit to checking if you have your battery in your camera or not before you go on a photo shoot. So that was for getting your camera's battery. Now the next issue I'm going to be going over is very similar. It doesn't happen as often, but still it's very similar. Now the second issue is for getting your SD card. Now this occurs in a, a little of a different way when you realize you forgot it but it's, some, it's similar in the way that you're forgetting something that goes in your camera. Now the reason that this doesn't happen as often is because usually most of the time your camera SD card is in your camera. But the way it occurs is this. Now this is probably the most common way this issue occurs is that you turn your camera on everything is good to go. Okay. You snap a picture. Now you go back on playback and there's nothing there. That's mostly with point and shoots, that's when you realize that there's no card in the camera. Forgetting your SD card isn't as much as of a problem if your camera has an internal storage, which is basically like having a built-in SD card if you forget your SD card. So those were the two most common technical issues. Now there's other technical issues like forgetting a lens that you need because you were showing something, showing something, someone it, or something like that. And that's really the only other one I can think of other than forgetting like a tripod or a mic. So really the other technical issues just relate to forgetting different electronic equipment. So the next category of issues I'm going to be going over are more within the image you're trying to create rather than forgetting some, forgetting some piece of gear. So the first issue that makes you go all crap in this category is wonky horizon. Now, you might think that uh, horizons are not going to matter, but when you look at an image, when it's blown up to like a 24 by 16, I believe, or something bigger, or even just looking at it on your computer, it's just kind of going to be kind of like a fly. It's going to be in like the back of your head, but you're not really noticing it too much, but it's still really ticks you off. So really there's not really much to go over about how this happens in the most common way, but there are things to go over on how to fix this. One, you could just straight up not even try and get the wonky horizon and try to make it look good. But the second way you can fix this is that in most image editors, 
there is a tool where you can fix the horizons. So don't worry, image edit editors are looking out for her your horizons. Now, the final issue I'm going to be going over today is bad composition of an image, which can result not really in your just skill, but I guess it can be either bad lighting or a bad position. So this isn't going to be after you take the picture, this is going to be during you, when you're taking the picture. So ways you can fix bad composition is you if the lighting is bad, obviously a tripod will help so that you can use a slower shutter speed, but if you're taking pictures of sports, that doesn't really work. So honestly, a solution for sports would be to get an electronic flash. You know? Now, if the bad composition relates to your position from where you're trying to take the picture, a lens with a wide range of focal lengths will help. And also, if you have a camera with a flip out screen, since you, you can hold your camera way up high and then tilt your screen down, so that you can look up at your screen and still still see what image you're taking. So that's all I had to say about issues when it comes to photography and cinematography. I hope you enjoyed this video, and even if you didn't, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, Camera Mania, and I'll see you next time on Camera Mania.